Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 196, halfway through September. I was just talking to everybody how we're working our way through the Blade Runner 2049 color palette of smoke and oh, very sad. It's like we're under a double quarantine. Anyway, let's talk about some Wix tool set stuff. It's going to be a lot like last week, I think. Um, so those of you that are with us here will remember what it was like two weeks ago. And those of you that are watching, well, I don't know what time span you're on. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that are not with us right here, right now. So um, we've been doing this thing. I've been trying to work it in. I haven't quite got it in smoothly. Uh, if you're here, say hi. We always like to see kind of in the chat, say, hey, you know, uh, I am now watching these things. It gives a little bit more of a, a real-time feel to it. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just hanging out with Bob and Sean, which is, you know, all good. But we're here to try to disseminate information. Um, so we'll go do that. So if you're here, say hi. Uh, otherwise, what are you going to see today? You're going to see us do triage. That probably won't take us too long because there's not that many new things, unlike last week where there was a bunch of random, I think, accessibility issues, uh, then we will possibly finish Wix 4 Preview Zero Triage, which would be pretty exciting. That would tell us what's on the docket for Wix uh, 4 Preview Zero, and we can just watch that list go down to zero. I don't know if we'll talk about that each week. Hey, these are the things that are still open, given how random schedules have been, and we've not made a fantastic amount of progress on the things that are open, um, but that tends to come in fits and spurts right now. And then we'll do questions and comments for anything else that anybody wants to talk about. Um, so if you're here, say hi. Otherwise, Bob, you ready to go do triage? Let's triage. All right, here we go. Um, this is the one. Hey, Jacob, good to see you. Uh, this is the one we asked for a reproducible something or other, and it looks like we got it. So I guess now we're stuck with uh, having to go figure this out. Um, this is a yeah. this is a what the issue? The cab is corrupt in some way. Some way. Um, I'll take this one. I'll investigate. Okay. okay. Sounds um, interesting. I'm, I'm curious. If if it's real, this would be preview zero. I I think. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. I mean, unless it's really esoteric, but I do think we should run that down. Um, and fix that thing in preview zero. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have to go much more into this issue other than read the, the title. Drop ARM 32-bit support. Um, I tripped across this and mentioned it to Bob, or maybe he found it and mentioned it to me. I kind of forget which way it went. But um, .NET Core, in their next release, 5.0, which will come out probably before we do, uh, it has dropped 32-bit ARM support. Um, and given that 32-bit ARM never really took off, uh, and that we've been debating for, I don't know, every time we hit something that says ARM, uh, do we keep maintaining 32-bit ARM? I think the answer is uh, we can drop it because even Microsoft doesn't care about it going forward. Does anybody disagree? It's kind of where I got to. I, I As I put in the issue, I, I don't mind maintaining it for the core tool set because it's, you know, like four lines of, code and an extra enum um i'm not you know too worried about that and we still you know support itanium so oh okay, <laughs> yeah i mentioned that um but when i went in and added uh platform specific custom actions i did so for everything including arm 32 um and i just it's like uh no one no one is using this almost no one can use it um, you know, and it adds a couple megs to all the extensions, each of the extensions. That's just a couple megs to each of the extensions. It's a, well, it depends on the uh, on the size of the custom action, but for something like Util, it's a couple of megs, hmm. two and a half. For some reason, that pops into my head. I don't know if that's right or not. All right. Obviously, it's not as big for the smaller extensions, but. I can't think of anybody ever defending this. We've been kind of carrying it along going, well, we haven't. Yeah. So do we just drop it from the uh, custom actions because that's where it requires real work and just leave it in the compiler and just be like, eh, it's just ARM, the same way IA64 is in there? Yeah, that's my proposal. Does yeah. that complicate the ARM command line at all? 
What is the arm command line? Uh, the arch, sorry, the arch command line. Um, you have to say arm versus arm 64. Um, I mean, you know, IA 64 is off in left field, so you're not accidentally going to pick it. Is there a chance that you accidentally pick arm 32 over arm 64? Mm. Yes. I mean, obviously, you might you might pick arm, which is arm 32, right? Which is arm 32. Yeah. We um, probably, at the minimum, we should probably break that in. Uh, Wix 4 to be ARM32 um, if we keep it. That's interesting. Kind of like there's X86, mm -hmm. X64, um, which is, I always wish it was X32, but never mind. Um, <laughs> yes, because X64 is less than X86. Yeah, and just all kinds of other things. Um, okay, so now, now you're making me doubt myself um certainly we could we could you know switch arm to arm 32 um yeah that would be straightforward yeah okay let's yeah let's do that let's do that um switch switch arm to arm 32 drop it from the extensions now the interesting thing is what happens if you're Specifying Arch Arm32, and you try to use an extension. Well, we need to have experience with that anyway, honestly. So it should be right there. now. The experience, yeah. Well, the, right now the experience I think would turn into a, a link time error. Yeah, and it's probably not great, but it's probably can't find those binary or something, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, shouldn't it use the x86? No. It's not going to uh, work. Not on ARM32. There's no WoW. There is an ARM64, which is how we got this far. People got away got away with um, using, you know, they could hack up. They'd use, before I added ARM64 support, they would, they would build an MSI for like X64, and then they could just twiddle the, the platform in the MSI, and because of the, the chippy stuff, the emulation, the x86 custom actions mostly work. Um, x64 custom actions wouldn't work because there isn't 64 and ARM64 support. So, but for ARM, you had to, you had to, you could only run ARM32 code with no emulation. I mean, isn't the Itanium experience what the ARM32 experience is going to be yep. if we don't do anything? Yep. No, because until uh, no, because Itanium also had x86 on Itanium support. They had WoW oh, 64. They had they had x86 emulation. It was really slow, but they had it. Now you mentioned our um, So again, this is the you know for the most part everything worked. Um, where it didn't work was um, I we we did a couple. In, in Wix 3, we did a couple of X64 custom actions, and we did not do Itanium versions of those for some reason. I can't imagine why. Um, it not matter even then. Um, yeah. So that 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 little bit was was uh, unsupported. The only thing, the the experience of of you know link time failures for not finding the the right binaries. Um, if we dropped ARM32 from the compiler, from the core tool set, then we, you know, you would never get into this scenario. The only ARM you could pick would be ARM64. Let's nuke it. Let's nuke ARM, uh, ARM32, that is. Uh, let's keep ARM64. And if anybody Please. ever really wants it, it's not going to be that hard for us to put it back. No. Completely so, trivial. Okay. Given all of the other problems it creates, let's just get rid of it. And if anybody ever shows up, we'll be like, oh, interesting. <laughs> we probably have a whole conversation at that point about, hmm, and what are you going to do about the custom actions? Right. Anyway, so I just, it's not worth keeping the however many lines, 10, 15, 5 yeah. lines of code in the compiler for all this confusion. So let's just nuke it from orbit. All right. What about Itanium? Can I kill that too? Um, 
I don't care. Yeah. But Itanium still supports x86, so it all just works. No, I, I don't care. Um, I don't I, I, I don't have any preference on that. It doesn't create the same level of confusion that ARM does, so I'm just like meh. There yeah, that's true. It's even it's even less supported. I mean, I don't think there's been an Itanium release of Windows since I don't know. It's been a while. And the 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 processor is officially end of life as well. well then eh, I'll take a look. I mean, you know, if it's, oh, if it's in there, we can unless I it. unless I see somewhere, oh yeah, it's still supported somewhere. Then uh, otherwise, I'll just nuke it. I'm sure somebody out there's laughing at us that, haha, uh-huh, those jokers are still supporting I, you know, itanium and yeah, because <laughs> we could again. This this is the yeah, and because it's trivial, right? You know, it costs us zero. Yes, because. Yeah, you know, the code already exists and it's minimal. Yep. Um, and I agree. The confusion about ARM 32 versus ARM 64 is yeah worth a, worth another yes. look. Yeah. If if there was no confusion, I'd keep it. But given the confusion, not worth it. All right. Yep. Um, someone asked for package reference support in Wix Proj. That's already in and coming to Wix 4. Um, I just didn't know what the label is. I guess this is build. Um, and I gave it to myself. So. Um, MS build? I guess. Yeah, I guess that's where our targets live. Yeah. Uh, sorry, way back when the uh, build label was about the build, the Wix build, the build itself. process. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is useful when we have to talk about signing or strong name signing. So. Bob, I'll let you decide. Do you want to talk about strong name signing, or do you want to go through preview zero bugs first? Um, actually, I would like to take a look at uh, 6245. Uh, it was the closed. Ignores part. uninstall command. Okay. Yeah, um, it, it doesn't, of course. The uh, But the, the final comment was just confusion about uninstall command. Um, versus you suggested arguments. Arguments. Um, I don't have any strong feeling about the suggestion, um, but I thought it should go through triage before I completely nuked it. Um, not a bad point. Yeah, that's why. What do you think, Sean? I don't. I could go either way. I mean, I don't know what to rename it to. But he, I, I think he, this person's right. I think the answer is uninstall arguments. So it'd be install arguments, uninstall arguments, because here's your source file. So these are just arguments. They are not a command that you can run. To even yeah. put the name of the exe in the command line. <laughs> right, right. And I've I've seen this before as well. Uh, yeah, we should probably do that. I mean, this is easy in the compiler. It's probably more work in the converter than anything else, but it's probably worth it. If Sean doesn't want it, I'll take it for a oh, cleanup. It's a good thing. I think it's install Maybe arguments, zero? uninstall arguments. Repair as well. Yeah, yeah, it should be all the things that say command on that attribute, that element. The attribute should all change the command should change the arguments. All right. And let's so put that in preview, preview zero. zero. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. Fortunately, all the systems are in place, so this isn't that bad now. Like in the beginning, I was dreading converter work, but now converter work isn't that bad. Although, it, no, this one should be pretty trivial. Yeah. All right. Uh, since we're here, let's talk about strong name signing since we're already talking about issues. Um, we should strong name sign. Uh, that's just a thing. It always bugs me that other projects don't strong name sign for uh, no reason. It doesn't hurt anybody and it benefits some people, so you should just do it. Um, so, to that end though, the Wix toolset has historically kept the strong name signature of itself private. The theory being that 
we don't uh, that we want to be able to know that our builds are our builds and not other people's builds, right? So that if someone goes off to create their own private build, they're you know we be able to use the strong name certificate or strong name to know whether they're the same. Um, arguably, you can get the same behavior if you strong name sign or strong name if you authentic code sign all of the files to actually say, hey, these are actually Wix files as opposed to somebody else's, um, which is turning out to be which before was kind of a waste of time, but given the, what's that device guard coming along, yeah. it's turning into more and more of a thing of, you just have to sign everything to be able to run anywhere. Um, so to that end, um, maybe strong name signing secrets aren't as important and we should just go and sign everything to differentiate the, between, the difference between an official build and someone's private build. Yeah. Um, and, if you look at some of the, the conversations from .NET folks about strong name signing, you know, they, they, I don't know how strong the statements used to be, but you know, now they're kind of like, Oh, you know, this is not, um, it, it, it's not a, um, it, it's give assemblies identity, but it's not to, um, It's not a security measure. Yeah, it's not it was, about authenticating the the assembly. Yeah, for us it was not really a security measure. It was more of a we wanted to know if it was us versus them. And Jacob's raising the question of should someone be able to replace a custom DLL um, from everything else? And I still think it basically comes down to um, well, it doesn't really matter. The Wix toolset's all split up now and it's built, so it doesn't matter. The question is, do we want to be able to tell if someone's using a private build or not, and do we want to use strong name signing to be able to, and if so, do we want to use strong name signing to be able to tell that? I'm kind of inclined to give up on the strong name signing being the way, and instead say if we really care about knowing if someone has a private build binaries in there, we should use authentic code signing. Yeah, which, well, although in either case, the only way we find out is by looking at the actual, you know, executable. Um, True. But, yeah, I, I, if, if we, if we're trying to authenticate, then we should, you know, use authentic code signatures. Just the, right now, the, the strong name, the, that we strong name sign means that um, you know, like you can't just drop in a, um, uh, sorry, a custom extension, right? If you also want to be able to, you know, modify the core Wix tool set. That's true too. That means all of that. So more friction in that area too. I don't know. I mean, I know that's been a problem for us at Fire Giant, but I don't know if that's a general problem for people. So I haven't been projecting that onto others. Um, right. Myself, it's like uh, that's, it, I'm sure it's rare. It's but, kind of an um, us problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I. But it would affect anyone else who, you know, someone who. Um, it's true. Like Jacob say, builds his own, and he uses his own strong name key as well. So. Okay. Um, there you go. I don't yep. know. And and anyone anyone who uh and and, and you know we it's, it's not completely rare we we've, we've had people who do have the ability to rebuild Wix um you know in their own you know bug investigation and right now without having the the a matching strong name then you know that kind of that limits their use of um, other extensions, unless they're also rebuilt against the rebuilt Wix. Sean, do you have any thoughts? I think it's fine to have the our private key not private anymore and just use authentic code. That's okay. good. All right. well, let's declare yeah, that. Anyone can also re-sign, right? Sorry, re-authentic code sign. Yeah, but not with the Wix signature, so that's the important part. Yeah, exactly. Or Sorry, that's the certificate. The signature. They're they're asserting their own, you know, authenticity there, Correct. which is not I think, the behave the ability we want to have 
Um, and if it's unsigned, then you don't know, do you? Yeah, like not us. Right. Which is the important part. Yep. All right. Um, probably should create an issue as well to uh, authentic code sign all binaries to track that. Um, okay, I can do that. I mean, we already have some signing issues, but yeah. I guess you need an issue to sign the managed binaries because we weren't doing that before. Yeah, it, it, it's sign everything as opposed to sign the things that end up inside someone's installation package. Just the things that end up in someone's installation package. But not the things that can't be signed, like the burn stub, or that should not be signed. Would we create a new strong name key before making it public so the old secret remains secret? Yes, I, I will create a new uh, open source signing certificate. Wix 4 is already breaking change, so changing the, the strong name across it is the same thing. Well, and we're not actually signing the Wix 4 stuff yet, so. Yeah, I mean, but we're not going to go and get the other key and try to yeah. bring it yeah. back. We'll keep three the way it is and four the way it will be. Could be, should be, would be, I don't know. All right. All right. So I think that brings us back to preview zero triage. My notes say we left off with the elevated bundle layout generated files without user permissions. Does that line up with your memory, Sean? I don't really remember. Oh, that you're the one that was right. so sure of what we were the other time we did this. All right. I think it's here. Um, this totally makes sense why it does it. If you run the process elevated, it sets it with the permissions of the person that ran it elevated. Um, and it, oh, Wix 3 doesn't have this issue? Well, I mean, before our fixes, before our security fixes, it didn't. Why didn't it before the fixes? Well, because... This is this is new. This is with the Windows temp change, right? Yeah. Oh, because we're getting into Windows temp. It's, yeah, because we're and we're picking up the permissions from that. Right. Interesting. Okay. This does not have to be preview zero, but I understand why it's still in Wix four. That's annoying. Okay. Yeah. Yuck. Strange, rich edit behavior and burn with Turkish keyboard. Wow, okay. Use a newer class. Uh, has this been done? Yay. I didn't actually test whether yeah. this fixed the issue. Um, yeah, you don't have a Turkish keyboard laying around? Um, I guess it's probably soft keyboard, right? Um, not that I'd know how to type into a Turkish keyboard. Um, okay, uh, um, this is one of those, how much do you want to verify before you close it? I'm perfectly comfortable since we, you know, this is an issue that was opened on GitHub saying that, you know, Hey, we agree. We did the fix like you suggest. Let us know if it didn't fix it. Yep, I think so. Sean? Yeah. All right. Moving on. Unable to launch bundle elevated if access to Windows Tempter folder is limited by SRP. Okay. That doesn't have to be preview zero based on the other one, but yeah, that's a problem too. Wix four errors and MS build messages aren't zero padded. My God, this is preview. This should be fixed immediately. Um, yeah, we can change that later. Wix four code review comments. Uh, yeah, give this to me and put that in preview zero. I need to go through all of those. Um, I'm glad we have them because there's a lot of little things I need to know. make sure that. Wix four throws odd error when using the equals operator. Uh, um, oh, and 
find and then point it, it's should accept both that and that. Uh, yeah, let's put this in preview zero, and I've already got it, so that's great. That would be straightforward. Um, missing error message, missing entry section is confusing when using intermediate files. We don't need that in preview zero. Uh, better error messages are always welcome. The compiler sets Win64 as if it's set building for x86. True. I believe that would be true. So we need some switch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you could probably tell from the package. Do we need this in preview zero? Probably not. Uh, I don't I don't think so. Decompiler's not in preview zero. No. That was easy. Extension oh, should okay. version their IDs. We probably should do this in preview zero. Yeah, I think I, I, I have left this open. Um I have done this um as you can see a bunch of yeah, references. Bunch of I, uh there might be some left. So that's why I've kept this open. Um, we should do it before preview zero. But I will add it to preview zero, and it's already assigned to me, so I will go through and Conf see what's plus left. Causes duplicate symbols. Is this new to Wix? This might have been fixed. Been fixed. Give this from to me something in preview else. zero, because that's, that's, that points to any number of other things that are bad. I was like, who cares about COM plus? I'm like, oh, wait, that's probably not just COM plus. Um, dependency v4 binder isn't implemented. Uh, not preview zero, but only because dependency is not in the list of extensions. Suppress ISIS is broken. Oh, gosh, ISIS. <laughs> ISIS are broken in general. We should probably have... This tag v4 thing should be preview zero because it, I, it need, I need to validate that the binder stuff works in v4. The that extension point in the binder and tag is the only thing that tests it, and it will break the interface if we don't do it correctly. So that needs to be preview zero. Sorry, you're referring to the dependency. Button? Sorry, so process ice is, is broken. It needs to be preview zero. We need to bring them back. Tag v4 binder isn't implemented it needs to be preview zero because it's an extensibility point that hasn't been validated yet because tag is the only thing that validates it. So we need to. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. I thought you were referring to dependency five nine four five. Five nine four five we do not need. I don't know. This is this is just simple, normal stuff is doing. Okay. Cancel exe during exe package doesn't roll back the package. Cancel during XE package doesn't roll back the package. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like something that could be fixed later. Yeah, I think so. It's a bug, not a... Yeah, not a change. Default dialog background doesn't respect high contrast colors. It's in our accessibility bucket. Yeah, okay. I don't think we have to do that in preview zero, although it would be nice to have it done, but yeah. Bundle installation process crashes in remote execution scenarios. This is uh, fixed, okay. but... The let's do this in preview three. zero. Let's bring it, let's get this over. Just give it the preview zero. I'll take it and get that fix over. Just need to get it over. Default for service install vital attribute not documented. Hmm. Oh, it's another one of those vital things. Yes, I just like vital. And we talked about changing it. And then document default value when absent. Okay. This really did just turn into a doc thing. Um, we don't have to do that in preview zero. Um, 
Internet icon file not modularized and formatted when merge module. Um, doesn't have to preview zero, but only because the internet shortcut icon files and stuff. This should be really easy to fix too, but it's yeah, probably just put it in preview zero. It's one of those things you just fix. Um, accessibility pop up window has same text. <laughs> Is that a problem? Oh, I see. The dialog box has the same text, and therefore they, I see. Got it. Um, are we is the, are we doing a whole bunch of low strings in Western BA right now? Is that a preview zero thing? I've lost track. I don't think we've made a decision. Mm -hmm. Other than updating low strings is problematic because. We don't have localizers handy. Right. Uh, we're going to need some way of tracking all the strings that we change that don't get localized, aren't we? Yes. That's why I haven't done any of these yet. I don't. We don't need to do it in preview zero. We're not going to have all that in place. But we're going to yeah. put something in place there. No reference in MSU package processing. Yeah, I probably should fix that. So that's preview zero. Bundle doesn't detect earlier bundle with upgrade code in different style. That should be preview zero. Got to mm. just sort that out. Um, that may be fixed. Yeah, I don't think I... What? I think yeah. it's just the not uppercasing everything. Oh, it's the curly braces. Fine. Yeah, but it's it's Sorry, this is, the compiler does that, right? We don't have to worry about that, except when people are using local variables, bind time variables. I see. And this is why the binder should fix it. And hence my last comment, yeah. As a variable. Um... All right, maybe it doesn't have to be preview zero. All right, that's better. Component installation path throws overflow extension. This is DTF, does not have to be in preview zero. Um, error during cache of compressed packages with multi-test bundle. Um, Does this have to be preview zero? Do you guys have any preference? I don't have a strong preference. It's just another bug. Sean? As far as we can. Any yeah, it's preference? just another bug. All right. Need separate SDK NuGet for Wix custom action development. Yes, but not for preview zero. Package not cached after bundle upgrade. All right, another bundle bug. Add new elements for custom BA data and BE data. All right, so where are we at on this one, Sean? I had no idea how we wanted to do the conversion, so I got okay. you to agree to do the conversion. Got so. it. Great. That's a conversion. Uh, does that have to be preview zero? Uh, probably. Yeah. Cause that's going to be bad, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. ARM64 burn. Oh, sorry. Uh, 6176 is preview zero. Uh, 6180 add arm burn, arm 64 burn. I don't have a preference. You guys? I mean, I think we already said no before. We okay. did. The only reason to say yes, which I'm not doing because I'm currently the one assigned to this, um, is that. In the old design, uh, it, w it would likely have meant a breaking interface change. Sorry, it would, it absolutely will mean a break, would have meant a breaking interface change um, because I tried to slip 
ARM64 burn into Wix314 and was not successful without breaking interface changes. Um, I have not tried to do this work in with the new design, the new interface method, message approach. So I don't know if it's going to be breaking. It, it might still be breaking even with messages because... Do we put it preview zero to say at least look? Well, well, it's, it's a whole bunch of work. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the that's the other reason. If we do that, it yeah, it, it it's not it's not huge. I mean, the whole the whole end to end, it's pretty big, right? Because mm -hmm. end to end, it means you know, Wix standard BA. It means we'll we'll bring it then later. I mean, ARM sixty four will be burn will be a feature of future release preview releases. I'm I'm fine with it being you know in a release greater than zero. Mm -hmm. Command line Do you remember what the part of the interface was breaking? Was uh, it like it, well, the and, type that was wrong? Yeah, it's it's it was just it was just data types. Stuff that should have you know should have been um, D word versus D word pitter basically is what it boiled down to. Mm -hmm. And there were there were some you know uh, some string length things. Those were mostly internal, as I recall. This is about making burn 64 bit more than it is making it arm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. You were actually, that's a, that's a very good point. Um, 6180 really should be x64 and arm 64. Okay. Because you can't get one without the other. And, but by getting one, you almost get the, you get the other yeah. with the yeah, you know, pretty much. appropriate build logic added. Basically, yep. But the code should be the same. Okay. Um, all right, not preview zero. No burn 64 and preview zero. I don't think people will be that disappointed by that. Command line execution, acquisition, and cache. This is done. Um, I had a whole bunch of whips that I didn't know how to close, so that's fine. Um, but this should be preview zero. And I will make it go away. I see. Change how burn sets the working directory for XE packages. Randomly or... Uh, it sets the current directory as opposed to using the create process. I don't, does this change anything from the outside, Sean? It shouldn't. So it, it's like an internal invisible change. Well, I mean, I guess someone could have been relying on the current directory be changing. Theoretically, the BA could have done something weird. But uh, yeah, like, yeah, no, no. No one <laughs> should be. No, no, no. You're right. Nobody should be. Actually, is the BA even in the same process anymore? The BA is not the same. Oh, is it? No. Because the BA is in the clean room now, right? No, no, no. It is the one. Never mind. It, it will run the user ones. Yeah. Uh, conditionally required to detect condition for XE package. Yes, this should be preview zero. It's breaking change to XE packages. Wix does not detect custom actions schedule cycle and silently removes custom actions. Um, I was kind of bug. hoping. I was kind of hoping that guy would jump in and fix it, but that didn't happen. So. Yeah. You were too subtle in your hint. <laughs> yeah, he gave you a thumbs up though. I think. Yep. He gave you a thumbs up, <laughs> and I even pointed him at the right code. Uh, that doesn't have to be preview zero, though. It's it's a bug, but it doesn't change the behavior. Um, Wix standard, the options page is broken in V4. Okay. I took this one, right? Yeah. Good. I don't know. <laughs> Does preview zero need the options page working? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a reasonable question. How much, how much of burn are you expecting? We've kind of punted on a fair bit of burn stuff. Well, I mean, the breaking changes, I think we needed to, but I mean, I expect burn's going to work generally with, I mean, I mean, Sean did a whole lot of 
you know, internal changes, but on the outside it should work just fine. Yeah. Delta okay. plug, so. Uh, sorry, yeah. it, just, it felt like we were punting more than... than we were punting uh, new but... bug fixes. Definitely doing that. Okay. In preview zero. We're not saying, hey, that's a bug fix that exists in three. Well, we're not making it preview zero then. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. This is, hey, the options page doesn't work anymore. Well, it used to work in three. How much does it matter in preview zero? I don't know. I'll, t I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Um, .NET new templates. I agree with that, but MS Build is not preview zero. Add ball extension, bootstrap, x Hey, here's more of that for x64 and arm64. We've not done uh, burn x64, right? We've not done burn64, so these two can wait in preview zero. Well, the so the problem with this is that I'm trying to help you, or I'm trying to get you to help me with the language design. Oh, this is that language design of this one. Okay, well we we'll keep pushing this along. I'm I mean. So I I, I need this to be in preview zero. All right, let's put it in preview zero. That'll or at least that's part of it. That, yep. Like that's... I guess we don't have to finish it. Yep, that's fine. Let's, okay, that's push that part. That's good. Because you can't have BAs for x64 and arm64 if you don't have burn. Um, here's the next one. Uh, burn engine should handle non-keyword versions. I've done most of the hard work for that. Yeah. Uh, it's ready for review, and then I gotta do the BA part of it. That's the valuable part of it. That's the only last part. Okay. So should we put it in preview zero like this one, or do you not want it preview zero? I'm your call. Um, sure. Let's put in preview zero. All right. <laughs> Just need to All right. Move to back end. Definitely needs to be in preview zero. Wix 4 should have documentation. I think that would be great. Um, smart cabbing not working in some cases. Is this the one we were? No. Yeah, okay. This is a bug that yeah, okay. We should look at that. It doesn't have to be preview zero. Wix UI accessibility bugs, just in general. Yes, those are not preview zero. Light creates corrupt cab files. I think that's the one we just put in preview zero, right, Bob? Mm -hmm. And yep. then that we just put in preview zero. And Wix Prosh does not support package references, which is an MS build thing, which is not in preview zero. Does that mean we're done triaging preview zero? We are done triaging preview zero. I kind of expected the last part of the slide like yeah. that. All right, great. We are done with triage for today. Let's go back and talk about other things people want to talk about. Is there anything else that anybody else wants to talk about right now? If not, I'll bring up my topic. But I'll wait for a moment uh, so that uh, those that are on the stream have a second to type in their answers and if they have something they'd like. Hey, how about the product and package elements? All right, you know what? How about we take these email threads that have been waiting for me, or probably just me, to respond to? Mostly. And we start putting Mostly, them. Yeah. Given that we don't have any preview zero stuff, how about we bring those design remaining design issues to the meetings and have them out here? Yeah. Yeah. That'd yeah. Be good. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. um, I will let you two guys uh, fight out the order with which we take them, and you guys can decide amongst yourselves um, which ones are the most important to cover, and um, we'll do them in that order. Cool. So bring the list, and I will put it on the agenda, and we will get through as many as we get through in a particular meeting. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right. So, uh, I've given Jacob plenty of time. I assume Jacob's still here. I, this says I'm down to we're down to two viewers, which would just mean it's us again, which would be kind of sad. Um, I want to throw out the idea, which may not be very interesting if there's nobody else but us on this call now. Oh, okay, great. Um, uh, Fire Giant now has a uh, has purchased a Zoom uh, contract. Uh, I don't know subscription. Whatever you call it. Anyway, so that means that we can have meetings with lots of people and all that public and private and like 
all the broadcasting type meetings. So Twitch is fun. Twitch is cool. I feel kind of like a gamer a little bit. Um, I won't lie. A little bit. I'm, I'm not, but a little bit. Um, but we could switch to Zoom if we wanted, assuming I can still get the YouTube recordings out of that. Do people have preferences, or is it really, eh, whatever, or, nah, Twitch is cooler than Zoom, or, no, Zoom has great features, please do that, or whatnot? I have no preference. Okay. It Bob. would mean swapping Skype for Zoom, I guess. It might it might actually work a little tiny bit better because right now I have problems with lag on Twitch following along. Yeah. Presumably it would been... be a little faster than Twitch's for broadcasting, yes. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Jacob, any preference? Anybody else that's out there? Although I guess Jacob's the only one that said hi. Although the stats on this thing said we had five people, but which the stats alone may make Zoom more worth it. So pretty sure they show you the exact people that join. Um, no preference. All right. Um, it won't happen soon. It will not happen by the next meeting because I'll have to go in into Zoom and make sure that I can still get good recordings out for YouTube, which was one of the reasons that um, we didn't, that we moved, when they shut down, what was it, Skype for Business? link, whatever yeah. it was, to Teams. Teams didn't get the video out well enough because that's where they want us to go and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, the YouTube video is important. Continuing to produce that is important. So um, I will poke at Zoom not soon because I have a bunch of other things going on and I'm behind on my Wix 4 stuff. But who knows, maybe in a couple months we may switch that way um, now that that has become an option for us. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure if switching technologies yet again is a thing. It's not like we have 100 people that we have to try to migrate from one technology to another. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So on that note, I think uh, we're good for today. Uh, we're through triages. We will start um, discussing the big open issues that have been left that we've been um, trying to do through email that I've been lagging given the other work that's been um uh, taking on my attention. So we will be back, I think, in two weeks. Yes, that would be the first of... Oh, my goodness, seriously? How can it be October? <laughs> That's not right. Okay, the first of October it will be. Um, we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, we will be dis um, discussing the open design issues. We will do triage as we always do, and we'll um, probably check in on the status of Wix 4 um, Preview 0 as we march towards the uh, release of that, as that's what we're doing. All right, that's all I have for this week. We'll be back in two, October 2020. Whew. All right, uh, until then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.